AP Calculus AB. Um, this question is actually from the 2003 AB Calculus um, Form B from the free responses in its calculator required section. So I thought we might spend a minute just going over what we can do with our calculator. So the red function is this one, right? So the red one is this one here. The green function is this one. Earlier in the problem, we were asked to prove that this is an equation of the line tangent to the red curve at the, po at the point x equals 3. And now what we're being asked to do in the second part is we're being asked to find the area of S. So it's right here. So this is what I'm going to do. From, from your calculator, here's your calculator face, your TI Inspire CX cast. Um, you're going to go to the menu button. When you hit the menu button, you're going to see this. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to points. Yeah, I'm going to go to, yeah, I'm going to go to points here, points, and I'm going to go to intersection points just to make sure that this is what I think it is. And there's that point. All I did was choose that. I took the cursor, right? I took the cursor here, and I just moved it around a little bit and lined it up near here. When you got close, it put that point up for you, okay? I'm going to go back now. I know what this point is, and I know what this point is, but I just want to show you how you can make your calculator prove that out for you without doing a lot of algebra. Um, okay, so let's do that. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to points on, and I'm going to go to points on here. And there it is. All I did was drift near it. I saw that the point four zero is the point I think it is uh, that I, I wanted. How do I know that? Because I know I want an x-intercept, so the y value had to be 0. So I got that one there. This one here. And look, it really wants to give it to you. And, and so there it is. It kind of proves it out for you. So here's the good news. Now what we want to know is, we want to know, what's this area S? And the easiest way to do it is... Well, there are actually two ways. Let me show you the two ways. Let me show you the way that they wanted you to do this because they didn't know how, seriously how cool your calculator was. Um, they wanted you to do this. So they wanted you to... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't choose. Uh, they wanted you to do something more like this. I'm going to do this in blue. Um, they wanted you to do something a lot more like this. They wanted you to use a right triangle. So what they're going to do is this. So I'm using a really crappy pen now, you guys. I'm sorry. Right? I'm just going to go straight down to here. If you'll just bear with me and pretend like this is a really good line and all that happy stuff. Right? And then straight across to here. And if you don't mind just playing along with me that we agree that this is, this thing is a perfect right triangle. And I'm sorry about the pen. So this is what I'm suggesting. I'm suggesting here we can find the base of this. We know that this, the x value here is 3, and that it goes from 3 all the way over to 6, so it has a base of 3. We know its initial height is 0 and has an ending height of 9, right? So we have 3 times 9 is 27, and because it's a right triangle, we get half of that. So that's all I, that's all I actually did here. Right? And then what you would do is you would subtract out this other, you would subtract out this other piece. Right? But I, what I think I would like to do is I'd like to take two integrals. So, yeah, I'd like to take subtract out two integrals. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Analyze Graph. I'm going to take an integral. Look, let's do this again. Just from your face of your thing, you're going to hit this menu button right here. When you do, you're going to see this. You're going to go to Analyze Graph. Right? I'm going to tread down here to Integral. It's going to ask, see, it's asking the question here at the bottom. It says, what graph are you talking about? And I'm talking about the green one, right? And look, you can see that so this point on, it's not the point I want. There's the point I want right here, isn't it? And then I'm just going to take that. I just choose that. That's the lower bound. It says down here in the bottom here, it says, should have said upper bound, but I went the other way, right? And I'm going to go here. I'm just going to move my cursor until it says point on. And there's 13.5. So that's this whole triangle that we were just talking about. But if you remember, we only want the area S. And that's the area in here, isn't it? Between the red and the green, right? So what I would do is I would take a second integral, and I would do it this way. I'd go back to Analyze Graph. I would take an integral. It's going to ask you which graph you're talking about. Now we're talking about the red graph, aren't we? And we want the red graph from here 
right? It says point on, doesn't it? And I'm going to go straight over to point on, whoops, sorry, to point on, right? Now this gives us the, gives us the, pro, the integral here is this is the whole thing minus this. And you can just set it up that way, 13.5 minus about 5.5, right, is about, it's about 7 something, isn't it? 7.9 or 7.96 or, or whatever it is. But that's a really cool way that you can use your calculator. Uh, the other way that you could do is, you could do that is this, and I hope we have a second. Look, I'm going to go to the calculator. I'm going to go to calculator here, and then I'm just going to ask the calculator. We, we did the first um, rectangle, right? So we did 27 halves, right, minus, you know what, go to the next video and watch this, and this will be really helpful. I'll teach you how to do this with your calculator. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to calculus, and I'm going to subtract out that integral. I'm going to set that up, and that's the second way that we'll do this. So uh, thanks for watching the video, and I really hope it was helpful.